super quick status check on Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas. Right now, it's hugging the sun from our point of view, basically hidden during perihelion, so if you're wondering why you can't see it, yeah, it's lost in the glare, don't try to look, but here's the cool part. Spacecraft near Mars reportedly grabbed images while we couldn't. That gives us a different angle and some precious data when Earth-based telescopes have to sit out. Early analyses hint at unusual emissions, nickel showing up in the spectrum, cyanide showing up in the spectrum. That's weird, and weird is good, because chemistry like that helps us compare an interstellar object to comets born in our own solar system. There's also a reported detection of water, where we didn't expect it. If that holds up, it reshapes how we think these objects form or evolve between the stars. Imagine. A traveler from another system carrying a chemical time capsule. What's next? Big guns are lining up. Observations are slated with space-based telescopes like JWST, and even missions like JUICE plan to take a look when geometry and schedules cooperate. Different instruments, different wavelengths, more clues. For us on the ground, the window improves as we get past the sunblock phase. The approach in December is when visibility should get better. Think pre-dawn slots, or evening slots depending on your location. I'll be checking reputable charts from groups like the Planetary Society and your local observatory for exact times. Milestones. Perihelion blackout now. Impact. Surprising chemistry. Possible water. Hinting at a very alien origin story. Next. A flurry of pro-observations, then our turn to spot it as it swings into darker skies. I'll keep this updated as confirmations roll in. For now, 3i Atlas is playing hard to get, but the data is just starting to sing.